Hey guys, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Today we're gonna take a classical melody, Ode to Joy, and transform it into a fiddle tune. I already did a short video on this, but now we're gonna do a lesson on it. I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. So we're gonna start by, I'm gonna play the whole thing fast, and then break it down very slowly for you and showing how to add variation to it. But I hope you get out of it, perhaps not learning exactly all these variations because they're pretty intricate, but learning a little bit about the process of how to add variation to a song. So here's the whole thing. Okay, it's pretty fun. So now what we'll do is we'll just do the first phrase, the first quarter of what I call the A part. By the way, I arranged this kind of like a normal fiddle tune, with an A and a B part. Each part is eight bars long. So we're gonna start by just doing the first phrase with single notes. So we're gonna be playing D2 on D string. And then we're gonna be playing notes on the D string and then going to G1, or first finger on the G. So that first finger on the G is called a pedal note. So, D, so always playing G1, G1 is held down, and D3. So that may be enough challenge for the moment for some of you guys. And so I really recommend you master that one little thing before doing the rest of the lesson. So I'll let you decide if you need to do that or not. But eventually when you can do it, try to play it a little faster. And then the next key step to add with that is when we do the uh, the notes on the D string we're gonna we're gonna now do a double stop so instead of going we're gonna play double single double single and that two note thing I just did is the key exercise or the second key exercise for this song it's a great exercise in general to alternate between single stops and double stops somehow So this is another exercise you could do a thousand times. You could just practice it over and over again. And when I say practice a thousand times, I don't mean just kind of like a robot. I mean, you're constantly trying different ways of doing it and you're exploring and testing things and experimenting. Maybe even do it on two other strings. Anyway, do that and get really comfortable with it. And then eventually you can just do it with other other fingers on D string, D3 and D4, which is an octave. Those are two A notes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next quarter of the song. All right, so listen to the rhythm. It's called the tracillo rhythm, tracillo rhythm. And I, I like to also call it three plus three plus two, because it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's just an easy way to kind of, for me to help explain it. So again, we can do this with single notes. So just still holding down G1, that's like our pedal note. So we're gonna go open, so I'll, I'll say the notes on the D string that we're doing. D, one, two, two, Now 
we simply add double stops for those accent points. Maybe an experiment with taking away some of the intervening notes, like. Right? Okay, so that's the second quarter. The third quarter is the same as the first. And then here's the fourth quarter. So let's pull back for a sec. There's nothing authoritative about this version. It's just a fun idea that I wanted to share with you guys that you can, you can add, you can kind of transform music. I, am, I listen to all kinds of music. I love it all. And I see no reason why you can't take a classical tune and do this to it, turn it into a fiddle tune, or take a fiddle tune and turn it into a piece of classical music. In fact, that is done a lot. Uh, like Aaron Copland, one of the greatest American composers, has these, these, concert, these uh, symphonies where he does this, like Appalachian Spring and Billy the Kid, and he takes like these, these old melodies and turns them into like orchestral. So that's just a more fid philosophy for you on how to approach music is that it's very unbounded. You know, the, there's not just bluegrass and rock and that, you know, it's all, it's all just music. Okay, little aside there. So back to this fourth quarter, we're gonna, we're gonna just do, again, the strategy is make things as simple as possible and then build them up. So hoe down. This time I recommend just playing um, all double stops with G1 pedal down. And as usual, if this is hard for you, spend time really practicing it slowly. And maybe just even one little part like... And that's part of creative practice is knowing what to loop in a song. Okay, so let's move on. Before we move on, just know that you've got the main ideas for how to do this already. And I'm just gonna kind of put the whipped cream and the cherry on top. All right, here we go. So now we look at the B part, the next phrase is. Let's listen to the basic again. So, so what I'm doing is adding the tracio rhythm again. And then adding the double stop accent. All right. And then the next phrase is this. Big greasy slide. I'll do it fast once. All right, so again, do that slow. And single notes. By the way, I made some sheet music for this if you're part of the Fiddlehead course and community. And I, I did a single note version and then a double stop version. And I also kind of annotated the double stop version with little coaching notes. So, okay, and so you pretty much got this now. We, we, after that phrase, we, oh, I didn't do the slide. So have fun with the slide. If you're a beginner, well, if you're a beginner, I don't think you should do this lesson yet, you know, bucket list it. But, but if you wanna try the slide, start, you can start on A flat or A low one, G low one. Slides can be really subtle though. They can be not that full distance. And they can be more transparent, like you don't really notice them. But here I chose to do a big, obvious, greasy slide. And then pretty much the same thing you've already done. The first quarter repeats. And then I just add a trill on D1. 
Trills are fun. Try to just do a really light touch. Don't worry about precision with really make hearing that note. And by the way, side note, trills form the basis of doing Irish embellishments like rolls or mordants or grace notes. Trills are the, like what you practice to loosen up your fingers and get that. So might as well do that with this song. You can just practice the last bar. And there you go, you got the whole thing. Congrats. I really hope this is fun for you. And I wanna give you, for some of you who are more beginners and maybe like oh, overwhelmed by this, know that like the hoedown rhythm, the long short short, also known as Nashville Shuffle, can also be used to add variation to things. And that you can really approach adding variation in very simple ways. Like I, I did this lesson because people wanted this and they asked for it, but I think it's pretty complex if you're a beginner, but you know, you could use the Nashville shuffle to get this another simpler variation. And if you speed it up and with have the right accent feel, it starts to really sound cool. But there's even simpler very very vari <laughs> variations you could do. You could alter your volume. Play it quiet. Play it as loud as you can. Play it with staccato bow. Not a lot of fiddlers use the staccato bow, but I love staccato. And I think that there's, I'm working on ways to make sense of that in fiddle tunes. But I'm rambling now. Yeah, I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have further questions. If you like this kind of thing, if you want more like transformation of classical tunes or other kinds of tunes into fiddle music, let me know, because it's fun for me. So if you guys like it, I'll just keep doing it. Okay, take care. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.